Hello friend, welcome to the world of KenKen. -Ken. In today's video, we are going to learn the basic rules of solving a KenKen -Ken puzzle. In front of us, we have a 3 by 3 KenKen -Ken puzzle with 3 rows and 3 columns. The numbers which we can use for solving this puzzle are 1, 2 and 3. As you also have noticed, there are some solid lines containing few boxes. These are called cages. In every cage, you can find a number which is called a target number and also you can find the mathematical operator which can be division, multiplication, subtraction. So the rule of solving this puzzle is pretty simple. We have to fill the cages in such a way that by using this operator, we get the result equal to the target number. Let me repeat that once again. We have to fill the cages in such a way that by using this operator, we get the result equal to the target number. We can only use 1, 2 and 3 and cannot repeat a number in a row or a column. So let's start it. We'll start with the smallest cage, which is this one. Now, as you can notice, there is no operator over here. So what number is equal to 3? My options are 1, 2 and 3. So 3 is equal to 3. Now let's bring our concentration to this particular cage. There are two boxes. The operator is multiplication and the target number is 6. So we have to multiply two numbers to get 6. How is it possible? It is possible only one way, 2 into 3. Now can I write 3 over here? No, because the rule says I cannot repeat the number in a row or a column. So this box has to be filled with 2 and that left us with this particular box which has to be 3. So 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6. So far so good. Let's see this particular cage for an instance. It says it has two boxes, the operator is division and the target number is 2. So how I can divide two numbers so that my result is equal to 2? It is only possible in one way. 2 divided by 1. But can I write 2 over here? No, because 2 is already in this particular row. So I have to write 1 over here and 2 goes over here. 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. Similarly, we have the same kind of box where the, multi the operator is division and the target number is 2. I cannot write 2 over here, so it has to be 1 and this has to be 2. So again 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. Now that leaves us with the last cage which is this one. Having two boxes, the operator is subtraction and the answer has to be 2. So how can I subtract two number so that the result is equal to 2? My options are 1, 2 and 3. Yes, so I have to do 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. 3 can come here, yes, because there is no repetition. And 1 can come over here. Voila, we have solved the puzzle. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please tune in for more.